Yeah. Yeah. The blue torch. Yeah, blue torch. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you nervous? <laughs> well, she says no. <laughs> uh, I think we're past that. Beyond that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I haven't taken a picture yet. It's okay. Just peeking out of the bedroom window. I'll share people. Go back. It, it, well, yeah, and it's and Nate of the Mist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Tom. No. No. There's also like a pretty big taxi. I'll also, let's start zipping up over this. Oh, yeah. Thing. Yes. So just... Actually, like, all of these dresses have, like, a stopping point. So if you're going to get stuck... Oh, Did you get it? I think I did. No, I'm talking to Jerry. Oh. <laughs> I hope they have those rings. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh. Those pockets aren't open. <laughs> they aren't pockets. <laughs> um, they are pockets. You cut them open. No. Yeah, that's how that's sort. No. Do you have any pockets? <laughs> 
jeans pockets. Jeans pockets. I put my vows in the jean pocket. Yes. Jerry and Joan have a copy, but in case they forgot. A backup copy. Like a boat that goes in and out of the that goes in to the swirls of the family. Look at Moses and the kids. Look at you. You, you think she Nyla bones? Yeah, she likes those. I think. Yeah. Chicken <laughs> flavored. Yeah. Did we get the extra chairs up there? That's Oh, ridiculous that you realize just how much you love them. They just sent us up, didn't they? No, they just they called us back. It's Bless you and Jeff, right here. Yeah. Yep. You're in the front, I think, in the middle. Ah. Beside Moses. Moses. Mm. Look, you're here. Look at. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. You're gonna get married, that's the point. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Perfect. Nice. Yes, Lord. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, you see it. The rushers? The dog is coming. Oh, it's the nurses. Uh, so you're with Lucas here. Whatever you guys are comfortable with. It was a lot about. We wanted to do a rows of five. <laughs> No, it's not really. When the bride and the groom turn around, you can just start to. We'll, myself and Dan will start the. Yes, we will. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks at tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose worth's unknown though its height be taken. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error, and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. William Shakespeare. It is with great affection for Michael and Ty that we have gathered to witness and confirm the union in marriage. To this solemn moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure and a gift to share with one another. They bring their dreams, their talents, their unique personalities and love all united into one as they build their new life. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? I do.
<laughs> On behalf of the bride and groom, I welcome you all. Please be seated. Many of you have come from afar to be here today. And Ty and Michael, thank you all for the love and respect and support you've shown them in their relationship. As it happened, however, other loved ones could not be here and they are sorely missed. To Dan, beloved father and husband, and to all the Batone family, the couple have these words. As we present our vows to one another, we know that you are here in spirit, smiling with pride, strength, and happiness. You will in all ways and forever be in our hearts. As we express our vows to one another and present our I do, we share our day also with you. According to Oscar Wilde, you don't love somebody for their looks or their clothes or their fancy motorcycle, <laughs> but because they sing a song only to you, only one you can hear. Ty and Michael, we've watched your attraction for each other grow into a love that is visibly strong. We see that you truly like each other's company. <laughs> and that you truly respect each other's ways of living this life. We know with a certainty that you love each other. But do you know that this love story of yours is destined to become a poem? As Plato once wisely confirms, every heart sings a song incomplete until another heart whispers back. Those who wish to sing always find a song. And at the touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. Thank you for inviting us here to witness the confirmation of our observations. Ty, all here know you well in some way or other. We all trust you to care because you always have. You put your heart first and condition its responses with wise foresight. Your generosity of spirit and keen intellect give us confidence even in ourselves. Your sincerity is unequivocal. You spend wisely of the strong and just character you inherited and embellished over the years. Michael. You've shown each of us over your generous and loyal character over and over. You are by nature considerate and kind. We can name any number of moments when you have observed a need or thought, maybe he or she would like this. I'll ask. You are a person who by something innate in you anticipates others' needs and acts. You make acquaintances feel like friends and friends feel like family. And of course, we've all been seduced by your gorgeous smile. <laughs> Michael, knowing you is loving you. You too make a compelling couple. Your marriage today here in the cathedral of your choice is consecrated by the very nature of the place. It's as if your poem is taking form within a metaphor, within the potential of nature herself to make beauty of imperfection. Love is a reason that this day was chosen by you both to begin your lives together. And love is the reason that you both will give with all your hearts for the good of each other. Love is the reason that together you will become one, one in hope, one in believing in life, and one in sharing the coming years. Through love, patience, dedication, <laughs> preservation. <laughs> no, 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 no. Through helping, oh supporting, God. and believing in each other. And trusting your dog. <laughs> through loyalty within the values you share. 
Yeah. Lay down. Real. Lay down. You just asked what you're doing. <laughs> yes, we're here. Okay. We do that to each other too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, Michael, choose Ty to be your honored and cherished wife? To live with her and to love her for the rest of your days? I do. Father. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, would you like to read your vows? I would love to read my vows. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, first, you're the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. You and Kelly. Uh, I must be the luckiest man alive to be standing here in front of you in our happiest place amongst these trees. Uh, you are the kindest and most patient woman that I've ever met. You have this ability to bring out the best in everyone. I really appreciate it. I admire your intelligence and your integrity, but most of all, I admire your beautiful heart. I admire the way it gives and loves, creates and nurtures, and asks nothing in return, but it's deserving of so much love. I promise to always be by your side, gazing outward at the world ahead together, working to solve any problems you may encounter. I promise to grow old with you, and along the way remain ever more loving and caring than I am today. And I promise to always listen and be there when you need me, not only as a partner, but as a friend, an ally, or just someone to listen. I promise to continue to grow emotionally for you so that I may someday be as caring and as nurturing as you. I'm so grateful for your perspective. You have this unique ability to help me always see another angle or better understand what someone else is going through. I guess it comes naturally to you as an empath, but you should know that you help me grow every day emotionally and spiritually. I think we make the most amazing team and together we can accomplish anything. I'm so overwhelmed with joy to marry you, Ty, in such a magnificent place. <laughs> Do you, Ty, choose, <laughs> choose, choose Michael to be your honored and cherished husband? I to do. live <laughs> with him and to love him for the rest of your days? I do. Louder. I do. Would you like to read your vows to Michael? Oh, God. Mike, I am so honored to be standing here with you in a place that is sacred to me, among the trees, under the sky, <laughs> basking in the beauty of our world, surrounded by love. There have been moments in my life, <laughs> mostly good, some not so good, that have molded me and shaped my experiences. There have only been a handful of things that have happened to me that completely changed my world, spinning up a new version of reality in an instant. I like to call these portals. I think I've told you that. You can never see them coming. And once you enter, everything is different and there's no going back. I've experienced birth and death. And then one night, when I was feeling at the bottom of the world, I saw you. In an instant, you looked back at me, reached out, and pulled me into your arms. And it was you had pulled me down through a rabbit hole into my new reality. This new life I'm experiencing here and now. The next morning, it was like every cell in my body had shifted into a new plane of existence. I felt downright lovesick. <laughs> and I couldn't stop thinking about our, our exchange. In one moment, you showed me a love so strong, it felt like eternity was calling to me. And I had to do everything in my power to meet it. The feeling persists to this day, every day. Here, the colors are more vibrant. The smells are sweeter. I see everything clear through the lens of pure love. It's like no place I've ever been before and simultaneously so familiar. Like the sweetest memories of childhood rolled up into every moment. 
I'm so grateful to wake up in this gentle world with you every day and walk among the trees, sharing stories, laughter, and love. <laughs> it be the and the dog. <laughs> it feels like a secret that only we know. Like magic is real. And we have everything because we have each other. I am in love with the way you see each day as an opportunity to experience something exhilarating, breathtaking, and profound. <laughs> Your enthusiasm and appreciation for life inspires me each day. Your curiosity and hunger for knowledge is infectious. Your selflessness and compassion towards every living being makes your undeniable beauty shine even brighter. You possess the irresistible spirit of life itself, and I want more than anything to share each day with you in celebration of our existence. You have given me the most precious gift. You haven't just made me fall in love with you, but you've made me fall in love with life itself. Because of you, I have challenged myself more because I've trusted myself more. I am more alive and more myself because of your love. Your happiness is my nourishment. I promise to be by your side with unconditional love through every moment, through the good and the bad, from now through eternity. Thank you for confessing your love to me and guiding us down this path into a new world. I love you. <laughs> I love the hunger for the written. <laughs> Ty, please repeat after me. Michael, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Michael, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I commit myself to you. And with all that I have and all that I am, I commit myself to you. <laughs> Michael, please repeat after me. Hi, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Ty, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I commit myself to you. And with all that I am and all that I have, I commit myself to you. <laughs> you said that you would love, comfort, honor each other to the end of your days. You said you would cherish each other and be faithful to each other always. This love you share is real and true. It will sustain you for the rest of your life. Love is a promise that is always kept, a fortune that can never be spent, and a seed that can flourish even in the most unlikely places. As so, it is said to be. Yet you will determine your own unique definition of love as you live within it and render it real for yourselves. Please join hands. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on this, your wedding day. These are the hands that will work alongside you as you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch, comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when you feel when you fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes countless times, tears of joy and sorrow. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it most. 
And these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. In the words of Percy Shelley, the mountains mingle with the river and the river with the ocean. The winds of heaven mix forever with a sweet emotion. Nothing in the world is single. All things by a divine law in one spirit meet and mingle. Why not I with thine? See the mountains kiss high heaven and the waves clasp one another. No sister flower would be forgiven if it disdained its brother. And the sunlight clasps the earth and the moonbeams kiss the sea. What is all this sweet work worth if thou kiss not me? Now that Michael and Ty have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, by the power invested in me by the Universal Life Church and the state of Vermont, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the And now, friends, it is my honor to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Ty Botton. Okay, so did I. <laughs> <laughs> the dog was a nice Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Yes, so beautiful. Beautiful. Just to me, it was beautiful. The whole thing. Happy man. Crying in the first 30 seconds. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Yeah, I heard from back there. Just the entire time. Wait, you turn it so the wheels There we go. That's champagne. Are we doing it? That ruined all excited. Uh, <laughs> 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 
You're here. Right away. You're here. Fabulous. <laughs> 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 now the question is how much is going to be able to drive? <laughs> <laughs> We met, I was working in a bar, I was managing this bar in Manhattan and we, you know, Ty was there, we got introduced to a friend and I knew right away, like, she was as mad as a hatter as me, you know, like, we just, like, our humour was totally in line. Mad as a hatter. Mad as a hatter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just had this kind of deranged kind of sense of humour <laughs> and we, we hung around in a, a huge group at that time there was a, a, it was a, a, a huge bunch of us and um, but we always gravitated towards one another we were always like you know in the corner like you know cackling <laughs> saying something deranged like, just life or just things and, you know and, and I always thought Ty was the most beautiful girl in the room <laughs> but I always also thought there was something messy. There was like this frustration or anguish that she was feeling. And when she met Mike, I saw that. It like, and you said it today, you saw yourself. You said your bones. You finally saw yourself, and I saw. I just saw this joy and this calm and this peacefulness and you never looked more beautiful since you've been with Mike. And so, you know, anyway, hope you're all having a great time. <laughs> for almost 10 years now uh, oh. and in that time we've been to nine countries we have three matching tattoos <laughs> uh, it's actually I think behind the like tattoos and the, the motorcycle and you know what we see in Mike he's actually one of the most thoughtful and nurturing people I've ever had in my life um, when I first met him I was a very recent PhD dropout I was from a very small town it hardly ever left Florida and I was straight into New York City bartending. And he kind of took me in and he introduced me to his friends. He got me to go out to bars and he completely got me to come out of my shell. I mean, I was painfully shy back then and I've just become a completely new person. And I think the way that I needed Mike back then, I needed that person in my life. He needed someone like Ty when he met her. And so to Ty, I want to say thank you. I mean, with you, he's the best version of himself. I mean, he's ripped. When we were up there saying, oh, man, he was just doing pull ups. I was like, I was like oh, who is this? Guy? I know I fell his arm yesterday. I'm like, oh my God. Honestly, the mic I knew a, a few years ago wasn't, couldn't do push ups. <laughs> I was like, who is this guy? I mean, he's healthier than anyone I know. I mean, he eats this, doesn't eat that. When I'm doing something, he's like, oh, no, no, you don't want that because it's like this. I mean, he's excelling at a new career. I mean, he's doing great. He recently got promoted. He just uh, bought a new home with his beautiful fiance, now wife. Um, they have this great dog who you are all very familiar with. So, Ty, just uh, again, thank you. Um, I just can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. Thank you all for being a part of this. I feel like it couldn't have happened without every person yes. in this tent. Yes. Here comes the unsolicited advice from a married man.
Yeah. Mike, you owe it to Ty to do the same. Always see the best in her. And when she's not at her best, give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. But also hold that space for her, that expectation that she is better and always improving. <laughs> Fill that vision of her, that container, yeah. with the warmth of your heart. Hold that space for her to become a better version of herself. If you do this for each other, there's nothing you can't do. You'll weather life's inevitable difficulties and be a source of strength, light, and support for each other always. You guys make a great team, and I think the world is a better place because you're together. Aww. I wish you a life of adventure, fulfillment, and transformative love. Congratulations. We love you too. Mike, I love you so much. Today was incre it's incredible. Yeah. Um, I, this is, I mean, the ceremony was in, unbelievable, and I just cherish you and, and adore you both so much. Aww. Ty and Mike, it's been a decade since I've known Ty, and now that I know Mike, it is just so wonderful to see the two of you together. The love between you, every bit of love in the air is between you. And this was the most special occasion, and just to be a part of it is an honor, and I wish you two many, many, many years of wonderful love. And oh, he's got a shield. <laughs> We've come from when you were four years old, sitting in the fan, in the bubble, yeah. sitting in the bubble to this. And I can tell you for sure that knowing you is loving you. Mike, thank you for choosing my sister, Tai, uh, to be your wife. Uh, this is amazing. Um, both of you have um, very beautiful hearts. Um, you love my kids. They're happy, always happy to call you Uncle Mike and Aunt Ty. Um, you always light in their, their hearts. So I'm really grateful to have Ty as my sister get married to my brother, now my brother Mike, and it's so amazing. I have a big family, you guys brighten our lives, and we are always glad to have you. And so, we're grateful, and congratulations on this day, and whatever life brings in the future, 
Just have like fun. Take it day by day. <laughs> and you all are great and amazing. And we love you so much. Thank you. So I would like to say that um, I'm so happy for both of you. And, and I love your family so much. And you know how much you all mean to me. And I'm just so, so happy that we're back in touch. And... Um, I'll always cherish all of you. <laughs> and um, I just remember Ross and Ty, little little kids <laughs> at the study groups, at the at conferences, and um, and Allison's like another mother to me, so <laughs> she knows. Anyway, thank you all. Thank you for coming here. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, now it's on. Yeah. That's what that red light is. Oh, yeah. Ty and Mike, congratulations. You two are a wonderful couple. It's been a beautiful wedding. I think you guys are going to be so happy together, and I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Aww. Aww. I concur. <laughs> Second it. I second that. Cheers. 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 Yeah, Congratulations, <laughs> Mike. Congratulations, Mike and Ty. Congratulations. Yeah, beautiful wedding. You're right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for inviting us. We had a great time. Yeah. Um, we wish you guys a lifetime of happiness. And mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to you guys having the future. And I don't know. Yeah, we're really bad at this, but congratulations. <laughs> Wedding by way of advice. No, no, pick it up and blow it out. Oh, we did. Blow we did. Blow it out. You don't want to have a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's perfect. Hey. Oh, oh, that's fluffy. Hey, it burns. Uh -huh. You might have this. Like, you like it crispy. Yeah. Some people like it burning. Oh. But only if you have it. Oh, there's a perfect. Look at those. <laughs> yeah, you can straight off the stick, just bite it. Mm. Okay. If you do that, it catches fire. But oh, make sure it's not on fire and then it's cooled down. Make sure right. the stick's not pointing. <laughs> oh, he did! That's, 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 that's a good black one. That's, 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 that's what I do. Yeah. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. That's gross. That's what I did. And she was like, you don't... Didn't I teach you? No. Roasting marshmallows. Light. Oh, that's definitely... Caleb's in. You are doing Caleb's doing a great job. Double or nothing. You're 17 going on 18. <laughs> <laughs> what if I tripled it? What made you want to go for the carcinogen bird? Yeah, yeah. 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 so, oh, so these on. ones are going to be uh, well done. This one's going to be medium rare. Right? She got ice. Oh, like oh, okay, we did it wrong. Let me roast it. Uh, that's my three? All right, go Lucas style. That's what they call it around right here. That's the country boy special. Three marks. Uh, oh no, he lost three. That's a cute one. He's drinking the Pellegrino. Nobody wants a marshmallow. Okay, I'm leaving it right there. Yes. And less carcinogenic.